y'all. I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I have a Bible journal process video for you. I am going to be journaling in Psalm 73 and I'm journaling from a devotion that I was reading this morning about a comparison free Christmas, which just sounds absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to do a little journaling on that subject. Should be pretty simple. I have some stickers pulled out from Hobby Lobby, all of these really cute Christmas mugs. I have some snowflakes pulled out and some distress oxides and some alpha stamps from By the Well for God. So I will put you guys on fast forward. Again, a really simple Bible journaling entry, but I'm super um, pumped to kind of reflect on Psalm 73. All right, um, I will link everything that I end up using down below. Otherwise, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna start with the background on this page and I'm gonna use two different Distress Oxide inks. First, the old paper, and then I think the dark green is called Rustic Wilderness. So the old paper ended up being a little bit more yellow than I originally thought, but the cool thing is with the Distress Oxides, once you blend another ink in with it, it kind of brings out the tones you're looking for. So you can see I'm going heavier towards the bottom and the sides, lightening it up in the middle. And I'm, I sped this up obviously a whole lot, just so you wouldn't have to watch me blend forever, but I tend to start off the page and then blending onto the page just so it gives a softer look. And as soon as I introduce that rustic wilderness, it very much toned down the old paper and I loved the combination. And then I just gently went over the whole page with the rustic wilderness. I didn't really add any more ink. I just went over the middle of the page as well. And I love how the blending came out. This is going to end up being a really simple page because I'm mostly using stickers and these snowflake paper pieces that I purchased. And I think it's actually perfectly fitting that this is a very simple page as we go into Advent season and as we go into the Christmas holiday where everything gets crazy. And I know that we are going to see some fantastic Advent projects shared and some amazing Christmas decor and things that are overwhelming on our social media. And I know that I am very prone to comparison and comparing what my family's doing, comparing what is happening with my channel, just comparing all of the things. And in that comparison, I definitely lose out on some of the joy of the season. And so that's why I picked up, um, this devotional, I didn't pick it up. It's from the Bible app and I'll try to link it below if I can. And it's just a four day um, little devotional about a comparison free Christmas. And that is my hope this year to focus on having a comparison free Christmas. Um, and really I'm going to highlight five things that I'm going to focus on to help myself move past just the natural comparison that we feel when we look around and see what everyone else is doing during the holidays. So these snowflakes you don't see on camera, but they do have a little bit of glitter to them, which I absolutely love. I was trying to decide how I was going to do the journaling and I ended up deciding I would do the journaling on labels and so I didn't need lines for journaling anyplace else. So this is just Fabri-Tac glue. I'm using it to place these snowflakes down. You can use any glue. They're just regular kind of paper pieces. And I think these particular snowflakes are actually from Michael's. The stickers that I'm going to use later that have the hot chocolate in them, those are from Hobby Lobby. And the red labels that you'll see me use are actually Felicity Jane. So I'm kind of spreading the snowflakes around the page. I'm choosing five snowfla snowflakes because I'm going to make five little areas of note or five things to focus on to help um, release that need for comparison or at least separate yourself from it. It's hard to just ignore it completely. I think it's just kind of part of human nature. It's certainly part of my nature, but there's ways that we can move past it. With each snowflake, I'm going to do a cluster of a label. These are super easy to use because they're already sticky on the back. I'm going to do a label and then a little hot beverage of some sort, just so you have that Christmas 
feel and I'm just trying to figure out the spacing where um, it can kind of work the best where everything kind of flows and I love that all of these labels are just a little bit different and I will just have fun putting all of these different I love the stickers that you can find at Hobby Lobby there are just some fantastic ones and um, these are super cute they do have a little dimension they are puffy um, but I think that that adds to their character I, I just love it I'm trying to spread the colors out so I think I'll go with green down here and then you know what guys that's it for the decorative part now I'm just gonna fill in um, I'll speed this up so what I wanted to focus on for a comparison free um, Christmas is this Psalm Psalm 73 is a Psalm of um, Asaph and he is looking out the window and he's comparing his life and he sees all these wicked people that are celebrating that are having all these great things happen to them and he's lamenting that and he's comparing his life to others but in the end of that Psalm he turns to worship and so that's what I wanted to focus on really finding your strength in worship being present over finding perfection um, stop scrolling start praying, which is a big one for me. Stop scrolling, start praying, feel the feels, allow yourself to feel all of the emotions that come with this holiday season, which are joy and happiness, but also sometimes sadness and grief. And then tell the true story, meaning focus on your true story of authenticity, but tell the true story of what Christmas is about, really focusing on that. Like I said, a super simple Bible journaling entry. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link the supplies that I can down in the description box below. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.